Good evening and welcome to eCurve. My name is Laura Martha and it's a pleasure to have you here with us once again. I was really trying my news intros in my head. Then I figured like, why am I not happy? I'm so excited to be here. Because you know the way news people are all like, good evening. Very serious. Oh, yes. Good evening. Yes. I can't do that. I love entertainment and I'm having a great time because every week I'm joined by a fantastic panel. And on the panel, we have the man, you know, controlling the paparazzi. If they're outside your door, you know Steven Mundo sent them. Is the opposition. <laughs> Steve's Mendo? Laura, yes, it's yes. not news, so we don't have to be so serious. Yeah. Let's make this fun. As yes. usual, I am Steve's Mendo. They call me the king of pups. I've been all over and everywhere. You know what? We are about to tell you the story. And of course, we have the beautiful, very talented, not a newbie to this, Ayuma Kaguli. Yeah, mm. I'm so excited to be here. And she is so mm -hmm. cute in her pink yeah. dress. Go away, yeah. go away. I started on like, oh. So cute. No, I'm so excited to be here. I feel as if like I had to like we had to dress like for a wedding. Oh yes. This has been Ooh. the week of the wedding. Ooh. So yeah. like we have to like we're here like a wedding attendee. Yeah. 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 Thank God don't, nobody's wearing white, so <laughs> you know what it is. Mm. <laughs> In our culture that I'm adopting today, the Chinese culture, mm. white is bad luck. Oh. Oh. So yeah. We stick to other primary colors. <laughs> but we are getting into the tea buzz, so stick around, let's have a great time and let's talk about celebrities. Why not? So over the past recent, we'll say years, mm. cloud chasing has been a very big thing. Having your relationship public and doing all these publicity stunts has been a very big thing in most celebrity couples. Money, right? And it, yes, it became a source of income. So people <laughs> have been doing this over and over again. But Kate Actress has done something that's sort of the opposite, but it's just in the same line. Mm. We don't know how far this will go, but let's see. So what happens is she has... I'll assume archived because then deleting all of them is just another process. Mm -hmm. Probably you'll bring them up once in a while. I miss this day. But she has <laughs> hidden all of her husband's pictures from her page. Why? Because she's becoming an even bigger brand each and every day and she does not want this part of her life out there. Wait a minute. What's your opinion on this? So you... You have a life which is called family. Mm -hmm. So husband is family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course, you're there. We want to talk about the baby and you know mm -hmm. the child and all that. But you're there with your husband. We know that you've been on it for years and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, fr I mean, from nowhere, you just want us to believe that this life is not important for us to know and to delete your photos. Mm -hmm. and, and you want us to believe that we will get a better life out of it. It, it, it sounds as if you're trying to say you feel like there's trouble in Paris. Yes. Like he doesn't believe this story of I'd say I he just wants to keep her family private. It's like he's thinking <laughs> what's happened. There has to be, some, has to be mm. some, something extra. Mm. But I feel as if like honestly that she might just be trying to keep her life more private. Because mm -hmm. let me tell you there's the media curse in general. Once oh, yes. you put your partner out there for us netizens to decide, dissect and try to figure out who's doing what with who and everything. We see I see the shadow of someone in the background in a picture. All <laughs> Already, your relationship is going to be destroyed. I agree True. that you shouldn't really put True. your relationship out there. So, you doubted your relationship that, okay, you, you're moving up to a better life. Mm -hmm. Of course, your relationship is there. We've known it for years and yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. So, are you saying that, so because you are claiming up, we, sh we, we, we should doubt your relationship? No. I, I don't think that's what they're saying. But for me, my question comes in in the sense of Phil is also in the limelight. He's a director, he does all these media things. And to separate those two people completely and be like, oh, Phil is a director, Kate is an actress, and they're doing very different things. Mm. For me, it just becomes like, what's happening? Mm. But Director, actress, maybe it's another act, <laughs> probably. Ooh, that didn't come from my mouth. <laughs> Call it, wash, wash out your mouth. Eh? What are you talking about? Careful. But Careful. let's go into something that's a lot more interesting. If you were living in Yamira County, just imagine. One morning, you're asleep in your bed, you're like, doo, 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 alert. And the account is yours, but the balance is unrecognizable. <laughs> from sugarcane or bananas? Who knows where they came from? You know where you have those RTGS messages? You know money is in your account. Who cares where it's from? You needed the money there to begin with. Mm -hmm. And you have received 25 million Kenya shillings right. on top Ooh. of your 
regular, let's minus the arrears, which was like 4,000, 15,000 Kenya shilling salary. And you're coming from probably a zero balance on your bank, right? Zero point eight zero if you're talking about mine. <laughs> <laughs> Laura, look, I mean, from nowhere I have 25 million. Mm -hmm. uh, my salary is something less than that mm -hmm. by, by, by many zeros. Something less. Uh -huh. By many zeros. I'd just be thinking, okay, fine. Did I get a job and I didn't know about it? Or am I be scammed? Mm -hmm. Because there are times when you heard about people where money was posted to your bank, somebody yeah. calls you and you're just thinking, well, we are about to talk about this, but don't worry, don't complain. Yeah. But this case was different. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is coming from the guy who pays me. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I found that kind of money in my bank, I think the first thing is I pray, thank God, the next thing, <laughs> I think... Withdraw. How many M-Pesa I mean, withdrawals? You know, I was waiting for that, because you guys are there. You have time to ask questions and to just ask... I would have withdrawn that how money fast? so quick. And, and how much? The country, by the way, because I know that money isn't mine. <laughs> right. So me, I'm going. We'll figure things out in the future. But, like, I'm going with that cash. Hey, yeah. But, like, also, when you, t when you think about cash, they're also talking of... There's also the story for uh, Nonini and mm -hmm. Clemo. Yeah? Yes. On cash and money and how the fight that's... Right. Uh, oh, the millions. Being... They're rolling in millions. Yo. So for those of you who don't know, Brian Mutinda is a content creator right. on Instagram and Twitter, I think so. And he posted a commercial sort of a brand, a brand deal. He, he, I don't know used, what they call he it. And he song, used right. Nonini's song in that brand deal. Mm. So Nonini's question was like, who's, who benefits besides you and the company? Mm -hmm. So there was a lawsuit that followed and Nonini was granted a million Kenya shillings. Then here comes Clemo. Get that transition. Wait, wait. Clemo, the same guy you used to record with Nonini yes. back in the day. Of course, this is Caliph Records. Yeah. And Clemo goes out there and asks, okay, fine. You have, say, sued this guy because mm -hmm. of this song. Mm -hmm. And of course, for those who don't know, this song, Clemo is part of this song. Yes. Or he claims to be part of this song. We all know that they mm -hmm. were playing together. He claims to be part of this song. So you have sued this guy, gotten the case on your side and won it. Mm -hmm. And now, you know what? Clemo says, you know what, if I you have sued so this guy more. and you have gotten money for this matter, I think we have a problem because if all of us keep on doing this for everyone, oh, I, yes. I think it's going to be a problem. Mm. And we can tell you now, actually, as we talk, Nonini is again talking about this and say, you mm. know what, I don't have a beef with Clemo. Okay. I just want a due process in terms of, you should have called me as a brother, you should have told me what this is all about. Yeah, I feel like Nonini does owe them something. It's payable, you know, it goes down all the way. If the studio time arrears, they also need to pay that at right. this point. But I do get uh, Clemo's point. Well, you know, like if we're suing this one, who, how far does it go? How, how far, how deep does the water, how deep do the waters run? And, and, mm. and his claim was that, you know what? Cases take long. Mm. I mean, this is, case has been in, in court for over a year, yes. two or something. And he says, he says right now, I mean, if anybody wants to have followed that case, you should have followed. Or if you still want to follow, you can still sue. Or you can follow the case and appeal mm -hmm. and get what you think belongs to you. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Listen, me, these things people are dealing with millions. Me, money, I'm millions. fine. It's all about money, 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 money. And this weekend, someone was wearing $100,000 on her neck and well deserved because it was Akothe's <laughs> wedding. And we've been talking about nothing the whole week. Hey. Nothing but Madame Boss. And I always said this. I said this on the T. I'm saying it on e again. I will never in my life go head to head with Akothe. So you guys take this. <laughs> I'm not going to be part of this. We're Call not just out. talking about Akothe. We are talking about Akothe and her Deno. Ah, Omosh. Omosh. Her Omosh. Omosh. It's still yes. Deno. I mean, yes. this is Dennis. Mm -hmm. And another name. Another. Schweizer. Sh Schweizer. Schweizer. Some Schweizer. kind of name. Mm -hmm. We all thought this was a joke yes. at some point. Mm -hmm. uh, since... All this began sometimes in uh, October, November. Mm -hmm. it, it came to pass. Mm -hmm. And you know what? It's a wedding of celebrities and everybody available mm -hmm. in town who was called just to happen. Mm -hmm. And the things that people really, you know, had a lot to say about were the 700,000 imported dress mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the, imported, honest, the extravagance uh, imported of the Imported and venue. ferried, the way it was ferried to yes. the country. The Windsor, the location, which was the Windsor Golf Club. Mm -hmm. And the amount of bridesmaids, if they paid for their own dresses, fine. But how many bridesmaids do you need? 
Yo, I like that you said bridesmaids because it seems as if these bridesmaids also had like a fee to be a bridesmaid. Oh, yes. You know, it wasn't as if I see they just came over there out of their own will. I could see that like people like mm. Millie, mm. um, what Jesus was there putting up her fee over there uh -huh. after the comical uh, post that Jugush had put at how he can be at your wedding That's and everything. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, this seems to be like a new money making scheme. Like maybe I should just like hire my, I mean, put myself out there and say, I want to be a bridesmaid. Right. It seems like a fun job. Like, yeah. who doesn't want to be there eating cake? And and dancing with the bride having it's like vip treatment for a wedding absolutely support that mm. but Kothe's wedding has been the talk of the town this whole week right. with the least of a do we have a listen a, a -list I'm, 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 celebrities yeah a -list. <laughs> i'm treating very lightly because i do not want to <laughs> offend madame boss right we had very many media personalities mm or people out there doing stuff. I don't know what exactly they do, but they do stuff. They were there and in what full attendance, about? including um, the opposition leader's wife. So you can tell how big of a deal this event was. was. MP, wife. Langata MP, Jalang was, was there. Yes. There were so many notable people. Aisha Juma was there. Mm -hmm. So this was a very big deal when it came to wedding. I feel like it was so out of the blue because I've not even followed the whole journey. And this was translated with the guests. So, hmm. listen. You know, that's something we can keep on talking, and I think that's something we'll pick it up. Yeah. But I yeah. mean, this comes right after she had, not right after, but after she had beef with her sister who called her broke. We'll talk about Ooh, that. She Laura. just showed that she's not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are home, though. We are home at Home 254. Mm -hmm. yes. Of course, that's not just us, but the upper rail. The guys mm -hmm. who, of course, uh, make the best clothes. These guys do enough of representing Kenya yes. abroad there. Mm -hmm. And they're brothers. And apparently, they have beef with each other and one of them just decided, you're not part of this business. Mm -hmm. So it's not 254, maybe it's a 25 slash <laughs> something else now. I mean, you believe in family business or you as family just working together as brothers, Let me sisters tell you, and if, all that. If I had a business with my family, like especially my sisters, <laughs> I would be putting out this statement of this one no longer works with us like five times in a row. Every time we get into an argument, she would fire me, I would fire her, someone decides they're not coming back. I feel like yeah. this is something that just happens with siblings all the time. Yeah. I remember, it reminds me of Peace Square, the mm. brothers, and, mm. the, and the manager was still, is still their brother and, yeah. and, and it went so, so bad. Oh. I mean, with family, it's, it's always the same thing. It's already hard enough to create boundaries in personal relationships. I can imagine when money is involved. Right. So it just becomes another, a top tier challenge. Mm. But am I surprised? No. I don't know them personally, but one of them put out the statement that it was because of behavioral issues. Mm -hmm. So you obviously know behavior, someone behavioral was issues. eating from, picking from the cookie jar a bit too much. <laughs> behavioral issues are supposed to be out of our business. Mm. I mean, my other life doesn't have to be the life in our business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think it should be. And so, like, we're talking about, uh, uh, you know, so to so the other day, mm -hmm. and how they go for counseling and stuff. I think mm. you should have business etiquette mm -hmm. and you should have again your own life personal life that you say yeah. beyond the business i think i have a life mm -hmm. and yeah, yeah. let's not talk about this yes let's keep our business running absolutely mm -hmm. yeah home 254 doesn't feel very homely anymore i know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the whole brand you know the home thing and even just to i feel like it's a loss on our part i really yeah. do hope they manage to patch things up uh if other families do it, they can too. Mm -hmm. They should just not take advice from the Tuskies people. <laughs> but if they have evidence of another family fixing their issues, then I, I'm in absolute... But you know what? God still bless them. Sometimes them. breakups are good. For, oh, yes. I mean, they, they, they open they, doors they, to other opportunities. Exactly. Yeah. Who, who knows? This guy may just open his own business, another apparel. We just may find them New York Fashion Week somewhere there. Absolutely. Lisbon to Kenya. We, we don't know. We may, mm. we may not know. The closing of one door does not mean that windows are not open. I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> right? But we're taking a short break. We'll be right back. Keep it on. Keep it Katie and home. This is e -Curve.
Chambita is Tantanal Lotto. Rose ni shiri na ine daily. Yani kila sa na 50 bob unashinda saidi ya shilingi milioni moja. See on Dotto. Unangoja nini? Shares on Lotto. It could be you. Nenda kwa Mpesa Paybill number 777-000. Andika neno. KTN. Kama account number. Cheza na kati ya shilingi hamsini. Hadi shilingi elfu mbili. Na ushinda sasa round he ni more draws more cash and big wings na lotto over 18 zone gaming can be addictive play responsibly this message has been approved by the BCLB Oof, Dave you've been waiting for 2 hours now this line is not going down let's speed things up see that barrier tiptoe tiptoe Go, go, go! Yes! Ding, bang, ding! Ding, ding, bang! Bang, bang, bang! Ding, bang, ding! Ready? Wow! Mia, can you send me that? Sure! Mia, can you send me that? Can you send me that? Will you send me that? Not you, Mia. Hey, can you send me that? Sure. Kuchagui familia yako ni zawadi ya mungu kwako kama ulivyo zawadi kwao. Iwapo unakohoa, unahisi uchungu kwenye kifua, uchovu kila wakati, joto jingi mwilini, unakosa hamu ya kula au kupoteza uzito haraka bila kukusudia na kutokwa na jasho jingi usiku, waenza kuwa waugua TB. Nenda hospitalini ukapimwe. Ikibainika ya kwamba ni TB, utapewa dawa. Na ukimeza vizuri ulivyo shauriwa na daktari, utapona. TB ya wezo kuangamiza jamii yako. Usiku bali. Matibabu ni bila malipo katika hospitali zote za serikali. Wak, wak, wak. Over. Busy biters, get down to snack business. When snacking is under attack, we'll be there to fight back. And now, final question. Which option provides anti-germ protection for your teeth for 12 hours? A, a helmet. B, a bodyguard. C, Colgate Total. 12 hours? You can call a friend. I'd like to call my dentist. Germs are the cause of many dental problems. Colgate Total with zinc and arginine attaches to the teeth like a magnet. Provides 12-hour anti-germ protection. So it is the obvious choice. The answer is Colgate Total. Colgate Total, 12-hour anti-germ protection. <laughs> I use normal detergent and bleach for washing. The detergent and bleach cleanless can leave behind yellowness, rust, and germs. Habix 10 times better cleaning compared to regular detergents and bleach. And kills 99.9% illness causing germs in your toilet, including the COVID-19 virus. What else? <laughs> <sighs> work, work, work. What's over? Busy biters, get down to snack business. When snacking is under attack, we'll be there to fight back. Mortin Do with its trusted formulation. It provides protection in seconds. So spread the Mortin Do message of how we, you and I, can fight to end malaria. Mortin Do, Kenya's number one choice. <laughs>
Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Kwa jina ni Efanta Safari. Kupata wimbo wangu wa huniongoza bonyeza star 811 star 910 hash. Nitarudia. Kupata wimbo huu wa huniongoza bonyeza star 811 star 910 hash na utabarikiwa. Nipo nami hufurahi. Uh, sometimes getting a pattern, the right pattern, sleep cycle for your child becomes an issue. And sometimes just knowing the right time to ditch the diapers. It was very challenging for me because you get for the first three months you have to be awake because they have no sleeping patterns, like they sleep during the day, they are awake all the night. I introduced the, word, I introduced the keywords around potty training, bathroom act. I realized he knew. So which words? I want you to <laughs> pee, potty, yeah. poop. Yeah. When do you introduce routines? Routines should start at around 18 months. So it's very important to now slowly start, you know, moving that cot away from your bed. Just avoiding watching or doing screen time prior to bedtime. It's 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 actually true. Uh, you 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 look for cues. You don't rush it. Welcome back. You know what? We always say that where events are concerned, unless you heard it from us, probably it never happened. You know what? It probably never happened. Long Easter weekend, everything happening, every other town. Yes. And when you thought it was over, Monday, Easter Monday, Ooh. a big day comes in Nairobi, Windsor Club, and it's a Codes wedding. You know what? This is still the big story in town, and of course, Ika was there to take the minutes and the moments for you. You know what? Let's just check this out before we discuss. Break it down in every bit what was going down during a Kothe's wedding. You know what? <laughs> you saw that guy. You, you know, I'm telling you, like my Louis is like, just like um, the shoulders are moving. The shoulders you know, are everything moving. African. Yeah. yeah nothing, not, not, nothing beyond, you know, the boundaries. And mm -hmm. you know what? You just seen who was there and you can see who was there. Everybody that you know in this town. Like, if you're not in that wedding. It felt like you I was, probably I need was, to question I was, yourself. I was scrolling who Instagram. Do I know? Or like I was on Nairobi Gossip. Yeah. <laughs> it really felt like that. Is it? Because a lot of the people are mainstream faces, right. people who are just very aggressive when it comes to publicity on the internet. First of all, this is one thing I'll say. They seemed like they were having the time of their completely, lives. Completely, completely. Say whatever you want, but those people were having a Laura, great time. this was the wedding of the year so far. Yeah. I mean, so far, I don't know who's going to... I mean, there are plans with many it. other people. We were waiting for... Um, Ambare and Rapudo to top this, mm. but uh, it may not be as soon as we think. I'm so sure <laughs> this will be top, but you know what? This was an invite only kind mm -hmm. of wedding, and we are told, by the way, you guys crashed. Ooh, so, yes, when, real babies. You, 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 see, you see all those guys there, and you're just seeing. So, who, who among all those guys that you're talking about? Bungai who is who and who I'll say crashed? It. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. But uh, that's because Rubebe came out and put out a post that people actually gate crash. Mm -hmm. right. And Mungai Eve mentioned that she got her invite at the gate, which doesn't seem like it was properly planned. You know, people who are invited to a wedding get the invites prior. Mm. Yeah. So mm. this is a bit and There was somebody who was in charge of these cards like mm. two weeks before then. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know about that. But again, you crash into somebody's wedding and there's a shame you even come with a plus one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! You guys, but beyond that, mm -hmm. let me ask you, all those guys were their politicians, mm -hmm. uh, influencers, mm -hmm. uh, media personalities yes. and all that. Is, is that the kind of wedding you thought 
uh, Akote would have pulled. Not particularly. I didn't. I didn't imagine she'd have as many Guess. popular yes. celebrities there. Yes. Yeah. Mm. But she is a very big name in the industry, so it's expected, I think. I expected the guests. I just didn't expect her bridesmaids to right. also be popular people. Because, like, when I see people like Aziad, and mm. I see people Me. like Millie, yeah, um, Jesus, and, like, a certain faces, I'm just like, oh, I didn't know you guys were friends. Huh. Mm. That's interesting. Yeah. But, yeah. like, you know, it's cool. Like, they're actually yes. friends. But I was yes. just like, okay, I didn't know you guys were friends. Mm -hmm. And apparently, it's really good to be friends with her because they're going all the way to Switzerland mm -hmm. later on this year for the second wedding. Good enough. Okay. And you're talking yeah. about her, you know, a, a team, a, a team and all that. You know what? It's a, it's a very good thing mm -hmm. when you have your family as part of this. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about family because our daughters. Oh, yes. We're the flower girls. Yeah. I mean, I've never seen I see the flower girls grown flower girls. They? <laughs> <laughs> there are flowers too. I mean, you do see that, and the family also here and stuff. Yeah, I, honestly, for me, the like I said, at every event, you you gauge it by ambience and the sort of fun people have, right? right? The experience, mm -hmm. right? And the experience counts for a lot more than everything else. We didn't see pictures of food, which is unusual for influencers, but. The whole vibe that you got from the event was people were just having a great time. If we're stepping down to outfits or people's, you know, arrivals. I want to hear what you think about the outfits because we can see some outfits over there. The outfits. Look at, you know, uh, is that Karen Yamu? Without me naming names, if you can see dress. it on the screen, that's a the, the, big The outfits are good. Yeah. And, and you know, we're talking about fashion and what also the, the dress code. That was good. There. Yes, they were good. But again, there was a dress code. Which uh, meant that you don't have to wear white this time around because white belongs to me. Yeah. And but I saw guys gold, moving in there. And there were very few right. guests with gold. It's like some mm. didn't, maybe those are the ones who didn't get the wedding oh, invitation. Because yes. <laughs> there were very few that they had <laughs> gold details on right. their dresses. Right. But they still looked beautiful. Yes. All the same. I'll say this I have my own personal favorites. Mm. And you actually mentioned Foyna. And I only saw one picture of her from the event, yeah. which I actually, I completely agree with you. She looked fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, Frida Mwaka looked fantastic as well. Mm. Everyone else, quote me. Okay. Was a big no. Oh. Okay, let's let's stick with that big no still, but my big no was again, you go to somebody's wedding and you're all over. You know, you're all over. I know it's this age of social media and stuff. You are all over taking photos and videos and posting them and tagging the bride. Mm. And talking about, oh, have you seen that me and stuff. Mm. I, I think some people were there also to steal their thunder for yeah. these guys. Mm. Yeah. End of the day, mm -hmm. and I don't think it's a good thing when yeah. you're in a wedding and you just um, you're not the official photographer for heaven's mm. sake. Yeah, one of her daughters, uh, Akode's daughters, actually went ahead and called people out who were there posting pictures of themselves and them looking beautiful and then having the nerve to uh tag the husband and the uh, wife, oh. yet the husband and wife are not oh. in that picture. Yeah, <laughs> so look at me in my beautiful dress at the wedding, tag. But what, what's your opinion when you invite so many people who are as self absorbed? as it's your job to be self-absorbed. It's your job to tell us your business. Mm. It's your job to be in our faces. And, and Are we really surprised that they did this? I, actually, my, I'm, not, I'm not surprised, but I feel like everybody went to sell their business. Yes. Mm. You know, I'm I there mean, saying, okay, um, I'm brides for hire. Mm. I'm, 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 next time you call me for your wedding, this is how much you're going to pay me. Yeah. We saw all those things happening. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, yeah. I feel like everybody went to sell their merchandise, whatever it is. Yeah. Speaking about selling merchandise, because we saw the dress <laughs> for um, Millie uh, Chebi, Chebi. Right. and how everybody was trying to figure out who exactly Ooh. made this Kitenge dress. Mm. Yes, the dress is beautiful, but then we have one company over here saying, this is our design. <laughs> we can, we pay, we, uh, we sell it for XYZ. Then you have another person saying, no, that's actually my design. And now I saw in a recent post, Millie Chebi said, by the way, there's very few dresses remaining. So it works. Oh. <gasps> People are actually going out and looking for the dress and buying the dress. And right. one of the company belongs to Emi Koske. Yeah. So who, look, look she, at that dress. Who, I mean, said, who, who, who made that dress? But according who to, owns that dress? According to Chebi, she said it's not Emi Koske. <laughs> Listen, See, yeah, yeah. we don't go against Emi Koske here. Uh -huh. She's given us the most fantastic gospel music of this century. But we're talking about her. facts right here. I believe right? her. You right? believe her? I believe her. But why would they lie? I don't see a reason to lie. Exactly. Why would Emily lie? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about... It's Akote's wedding. And again, you know what? People are still talking about Akote and this Dennis, Omosh, mm. you know? Who is this man? Mm. I mean, he's still talking about, yes, this is my man, I love him. I mean, I, even to, up till today, she's just talking about, guys, you love to give her space. 
yeah. we are in this one together. I mean, but if people that's, are asking, who is if, this man? If that's how she wants to do it, I'm absolutely in full support. People can be in your man's business, especially being aqua there. Mm. People always in her business. They don't want to see a woman prosper even when she's in her 40s. Listen, let her have a good time. Mm. Let her enjoy marriage. If she wants to do it six, seven, eight times, fine. Butita showed up in a chopper Yo. after just mm. recently purchasing mm. a Jaguar. Yeah. Oh. With his girlfriend, uh, Sadia. Sa Sadia, yeah. yeah. And you know that and moment, I remember that moment and you know, every paparazzi is around them and asking, oh, so how much was that? And he's just saying, give us our space too. Yeah. I think there was a lot going on. Mm -hmm. and, but again, the, the good thing is again, we saw many young, you know, showbiz personalities coming mm -hmm. in with their uh, you know, better halves and mm. stuff. Mm -hmm. The likes of Jugush and stuff. Listen, me and Jugush can come and be at my wedding any day. You're welcome <laughs> for what? Quote your price. I don't want even that to, you know. He has already quoted prices no. for some other things. I'll so. double it. I'm fine with it. Yeah, so he gave out his And that is card. it. <laughs> he had his rate right card. There. And the I think, card. you know. It, so do you have two a million for him to go to your reception and eat food as many times as he wants? Eat, how much okay. food can you go eat? Do you have five that million? That all day. Do you have five million for him to dance and step on guests? <laughs> do you have six million for him to shout at the bride speakers? Where, why have you left your family? Oh. In, uh, Kikuyu word I cannot pronounce. I think you just go to the edges <laughs> and just do this thing and be done with it, if this is the case. But it, again, people like Jalango, mm. the MP for Langata, also mm. looking good and with yeah. this open roof. Oh yes, and she also had like very notable f uh, people at her wedding. And Mili took this as an advantage and she actually has, how do you call it, referees. And a Kothe as a referee, why not? She also came out with her own rate card. Yes. And, but listen. This was a bit distasteful <laughs> for me because wasn't she fundraising for her brother's wedding just recently? <laughs> that was her brother's. Yes. I was not about her. Is she gonna charge her? Maybe this is how to get money to help the brother. Maybe she went and trolled her. They're online. fundraising for the brother to pay her to be on the lineup. Okay. I think we need to think way. about a business idea where we can also place our business cards and all. Yes. You know. Um, events were happening in Nairobi. And the amazing thing also was, 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 was the way, let, let, let's just think about all those politicians. Mm. I don't know the last time politicians came into a, you know, celebrities mm. kind of a wedding. Mm. You know, like you're saying, mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 the wife to uh, Raila Odinga mm -hmm. there and just talking about, this is a cote. And this is a decision. And you have to let her be. And she talked many other good things about, about her. And you know, the likes of Karenyamu and all that. Mm -hmm. Just think about the politicians, um, um, the lawyer, Lumumba, and, yeah. and many other people. Yeah. I mean, that list. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. But I can see a lot of you have a lot to say on um, online. We have Twalib saying, hey, hello, Ika, watching the show from Mombasa, Kizingo. I want to say hi to my sweetheart, Karima from Malindi. Oh. Oh. Love is in the air. Are you guys going to get married also? We also have <laughs> someone else over here saying, my crush, Ni Kwambox. Nasiku Mwana Kwaharusi. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Listen. Kwambox, they, they you know what? The mark there. I like yeah. saying, you know what? Yes, invited or not, you go where you you're wanted. Mm. <laughs> you go where you feel needed, you go where you are loved. Yeah. And you know what? We can talk as much about this wedding. I know there's much more. Go into our websites and all our yes. uh, you know, networks and you'll see there's much more coming through for this. And you know what? Events are not ending there because the weekend is coming again, actually yeah. starting now. Mm -hmm. Because this man is about to step out. Nairobi Space Station. We mm -hmm. talked about that some times ago. Yes. These guys are back with a fashion line, mm -hmm. which speaks to the future. Mm -hmm. And this is happening this Saturday mm -hmm. at the Macmillan Library. Oh. This dress is talking about, again, the year 2299. So when you'll be a nomad, Nairobi will be a desert. And so you go there looking like that person those days. I don't know. You love fashion. You look fashionable. I don't know what you'll be looking like. <laughs> yeah, 2299. <laughs> but again, not just that. There's a singles party happening at... Mm -hmm. Westlands mm -hmm. on Tuesday actually if you feel like you're being choked everywhere you go by people you don't want to see there's a singles party and that is also for you yeah so if you see me at that singles party mind your business <laughs> you know if they're not coming there of course they can go to Brayburn mm -hmm. where there's a good play taking place starting Friday all the way mm -hmm. to Sunday absolutely lovers yes. of theater this is a musical and I think that's something we need to take out so I think I'll go be going there. Yeah. Talking about going there, 
Just truly, the government, the king of pubs, I'm out of this place to the next event. Of course, I wasn't about to discuss this. We're taking a break now. your toilet clean. I use normal detergent and bleach for washing. The detergent and bleach cleanless can leave behind yellowness, rust and germs. Habix 10 times better cleaning compared to regular detergents and bleach and kills 99.9% .9 illness causing germs in your toilet including the COVID-19 virus. Karibu sana. Are you ready? I'm here for the tea honey. Yes. What on earth is Kalia? Ena ni ukweli ni mkali na matafu zangu mbili. Sawa? I don't give a Neither do I. But we'll see you in the next video. Bye. 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 Over. Busy biters, get down to snack business. When snacking is under attack, we'll be there to fight back. Tough times need big time savings. That's why Nivas is living up to its promise and saves you money. Nivas Kikapu Kibonge brings you key extra offers, key biggie discounts, and key bunda choices. Grab the Friday copy of The Standard to see the offers that are up for grabs for the week. normal detergent and bleach for washing. The detergent and bleach cleanless can leave behind yellowness, rust and germs. Habix 10 times better cleaning compared to regular detergents and bleach and kills 99.9% .9 illness causing germs in your toilet including the COVID-19 virus. Welcome back to e -Curve. My name is Lauren Batha and I have Ayuma Kaguli with me tonight. And she came even closer because... I couldn't stay away. She couldn't. She couldn't stay away. She couldn't. And I love that for her. <laughs> so, we have a special guest in studio with us. And because they, I'll call them they, have their own special thing going on, I'd love them to introduce themselves to you guys because I personally can't do it. I'm, I'm in shock. Is that time? Yes. Oh, uh, 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 hello guys. Uh, my name is Nelson Gitchen. Oh, damn. You are Nelson. Yes, <laughs> I'm Nelson. <laughs> okay, guys. God, we come, we go again. My name is John Tay, and this is, uh, say your name. Uh, my name is Nelson Gitchen, and I am a ventriloquist. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Uh huh. I want to know first of all, John Say. Yes. How did you come into being? How did you, as a character, even get created? Uh, how did you create me? Uh, you are a doll, John Tay. I just bought you and made you. There you go. <laughs> yes, I, I was not in the market. Mm -hmm. uh, I did have a mouth mm -hmm. uh, and a stomach, and uh, everything a man has. So he thought it on me. Ah, nice. Yeah. <laughs> I have to say, if you cannot tell from back at home, I'm very, 
uncomfortable. <laughs> and this is because, you know, like I have these parents that grew up in, if you have too many toys, then they have ghosts mm -hmm. in them. But I'm not like a toy. To, oh, my bad. I'm so sorry. I, I need to ask you, do you know of Pinocchio? Have you heard of him? Yes, he's my friend. Uh, of course, of course, he is because you run in the same circles. <laughs> but do you have ambitions of being a real boy? I'm assuming you're four years old or something. I'm a real boy. I'm talking to you. Don't. Yeah, are you? Can you? Can, can this you is gone. So uh, this is gone, ladies. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, do you realize you're talking to a doll? Yes, we do. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's, yeah. Go on, let's go. But on. now that you've decided to like put us on blast and make us look like the crazy ones, <laughs> maybe um, you can let us know how. When did you even start becoming a ventriloquist? Uh, oh, you, uh, me? Yes. Yeah, I started like uh, 20, 2020. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's when I started. But uh, I was not full in because I was afraid of uh, giving it out and then uh, uh, become rejected mm. because no, uh, a few people know about ventriloquism in Africa, especially in So where do you learn? Ex yeah, where do you, is there ever a ventriloquist school? Is there like a course that you can take online? <coughs> How do you learn? No, uh, I loved cartoons uh, since I was young. And uh, I started practicing ventriloquism with the socks. My dad uh, used to beat me a lot because I was using his socks <laughs> <laughs> a lot, uh, like a puppet. Mm -hmm. uh, but when, uh, when I, I became an adult and I finished school, uh, uh, no, before I got to being an adult, uh, my sisters, they took me like a joke because they were, they were wondering what, what, what was I doing? Mm. What, are the, what is this guy doing? He lives in his own world. But when I grew up, uh, I started it in my mind because of the fright. And when uh, I saw it uh, being performed in uh, America's Got Talent, uh, that gave me courage yeah. to do to do it, and then I said, uh, "Let me try it." And I tried it in a, a show in KTN, mm. like 2020, but it uh, because of COVID, it uh, uh, it didn't grow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the lucky like Sasa 2023. That's when I'm, I have started growing, mm. and people are, are continuing to learn what ventriloquism is, although not all. Mm -hmm. Maybe in Nairobi. Because I took uh, Jonte in Ushago last hey. December. How was that hey. experience? <laughs> I was almost beaten by the villagers. Witchcraft. Eh? I was almost beaten <laughs> because they were coming and asking me. Uh, you know, I was doing clips for a company. Mm -hmm. I was uh, uh, doing advertisement for that company. So I, I decided to do a video clip for them in the Shambas, where there is maize and things, mm -hmm. you see. Yes, when I went there, the, the neighbors came and asked, how is this guy talking? Where is his life coming from? And then John told them, this guy is, and they got confused. And uh, the villagers started gathering, and I became so afraid that I left. No, this is for real. This is like for real. Like your life was actually This dangerous. is for real, and this is the, in central province. Can you imagine when I go to Kisi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that will count me out. I'm already sitting here, and I'm seeing <laughs> Jonte moving, moving his head. I am uneasy. <laughs> this is not what I signed up for. <laughs> this is not what I signed up for. But if you're curious as to why the people were rallying after him, check this video out. Anyway, congratulations. First day friend Indian will come to a cause of Kusungua Sathas before we get to manipulate the outcome of the results. So, for those of people who don't know, you're a comedian, a ventriloquist comedian. Yeah. How do you? How did you incorporate comedy like with him? Is it? Did you figure out like it should be conversational, or did you try out doing certain things? Then you settled on the comedy bit. Because ventriloquism in its own self is an art. Mm -hmm. So to incorporate <coughs> comedy takes some level of skill. How did you figure all yeah, that? You know, uh, I always felt I was a comedian, even in secondary school. 
but nobody laughed at my joke. Oh. <laughs> but now you have John say to laugh. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I don't know whether it's, it's my face or something. Yeah. I'm dark. I'm, uh, people don't are not attracted uh, oh, by dark people in, in, in school. <laughs> you know the the brown well, guys. True. They concentrated yeah. on brown guys. So I uh, I got uh, good jokes mm. in in secondary school, but because uh, I didn't maybe I didn't deliver them well yes. or mm. my appearance. Uh -huh. But when I came out of school. I decided I have jokes and people don't laugh af, uh, at them. Let me let me put those jokes in a dummy. Mm. And because I love ventriloquism, so when I do comedy with uh, Jonte, people laugh. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And when unajua uh, sometimes uh, Jonte ananingilianga. <laughs> <laughs> so most of the time Jonte ananingilianga, mm -hmm. but uh, sasa hiyo kuniingilia people like that. Yeah. yeah. People like that and anything Jonte says it's mm. funny to people, but yeah. if I appear uh, in any camera alone, mm. people won't even recognize me. Yeah. Mm. Only few people recognize me in the streets and say, why is John Tay? <laughs> but a lot of people recognize me when, yeah. even when I go on shows. Mm. As I'm um, like, um, my name is Nelson Gitchen, and people are like, who's Nelson Gitchen? Yeah. <laughs> but when I bring out John Tay from the box, uh, people say, oh, this is the Jonte guy. Mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of people call me Jonte, but this is the, the, the Jonte. Jonte is, is the puppet. Before, yes. <laughs> before, before you get into Jonte and your sleeping arrangements, how is Jonte adapting to the fame? Uh, the fame? Mm. Uh, <laughs> Jonte, why don't you let us know? Yes. How does it feel to be famous, sir? That is a tricky question. <laughs> uh, it's not tricky. Uh, you know, uh, I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm the person who makes this guy go to... You know, lately, mm -hmm. uh, especially in 2023, uh, we have been seen on uh, a lot of newspapers. Mm -hmm. I think, how many? Three new newspapers. Oh, yeah, three newspapers, <laughs> and we have been called in a lot of shows and interviews, including this one on ECAB. Yes, uh, what did I want to say? I wanted to say that uh, if it was not for me, this guy wouldn't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's because of me that this guy is being seen on TV. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I really thought you have. Did really I answer your question? Yes, you mm. did. Oh yes, you yeah. Did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I really thought you have like really good like hand mouth um, hand mouth uh, coordination. Yes. How are you able to like speak and talk about the story and him? He's there moving around and doing all of these different things. Uh, answer that question. Okay. Uh, you just learn how to, first of all, you must, uh, before you start ventriloquism, mm. you must separate yourself into two or three people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when you say, when you do that, you can be able, now... Uh, two or two three people? Yeah, because this does even... not sound like a mental illness. <laughs> no. Uh, Split personality. <laughs> no, because uh, right now, even if you bring a second dummy mm. or the third dummy, I'll do all the voices. Wow. And that will be separating my brain into four different, uh, different uh, persons yeah. and voices. Because, but now, for now, I'm only doing two voices. Mm. Uh, you're lying. <laughs> no, I'm not lying, Jonte. I'm doing two <laughs> voices. So that's what, uh, when you say that, that was me. Mm. You're lying. <laughs> no, I'm not lying. <laughs> John, say, why do you think he's lying? And uh, you, after, <laughs> after, after doing, uh, let, me, let me finish, uh, let, let the girl talk. <laughs> what are you saying, madam? Why do you believe that Nelson is lying? Because I'm a separate person. I'm alive. Mm -hmm. I'm even more famous than him. More handsome mm -hmm. than him. Girls love me more than him. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we are two different guys. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, what, what are you supposed to do? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Mm. But I like how you guys, you're able to really get into the character and Jonte really just becomes his own person and how we're having, having a conversation with him right now. So it's really good. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, we have conversations in the house. Just the two of you. Alone, yeah. We watch movies. Mm -hmm. He has his own bed. He has his own uh, clothing shelf, mm -hmm. and uh, he has everything because I have to do that to to make sure that I don't confuse myself when I get on stage. Yeah. Yeah. yeah because when we go on stage and I don't treat him like a human being, mm. uh, I'll feel myself as like uh, I'm alone mm -hmm. on stage. Mm -hmm. That's happened to me when I was starting ventriloquism. Mm -hmm. I usually went to on stage, 
and uh, not uh, in my brain mm -hmm. i was thinking i'm alone mm -hmm. yeah. and i'm talking to a puppet True. Mm -hmm. but when uh, as days went by uh, i made myself used to, to talking yeah like seeing myself like two people mm -hmm. yeah and doing that is the way i told you uh, talking to him in the house mm -hmm. having his own bed telling him good night watching movies it's definitely a good way for you to really interact with him as, like, you know, a character and really get into it. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, there's actually a game we're about to play, right? Oh, yes. And just so I, just so I put it out there, mm -hmm. if you find yourself talking to yourself a lot in the house, this, this <laughs> should be a career you should actually think about. Now, Jonathan, I want to play a game with you. You and Nelson, <coughs> both of you can Which answer. Game? Which game? Listen, come slowly. Oh, okay. okay. I'm okay. in charge I like here. games. <laughs> I'm in charge here. So, what is one of your nicknames? Uh, my nickname? Mm -hmm. I don't have a nickname. Just uh, my name. My real name is John, mm -hmm. and uh, so my nickname is John T. All right. Yes. What's your hidden talent, John T? We know, uh, you know. What's your talent? Being romantic. Ooh, Ooh there's Dante. a dog somewhere. <laughs> okay, Barbie, we see you. Yeah, as you heard on the video, by the way, mm -hmm. uh, I was the third boyfriend of Akode. Oof. Oh wow! But, Were you invited uh, to the wedding? No, I can't go to my ex wedding. You eat a quatrakas nanze. Yes, I think Akode is uh, doing a lot of marriages because uh, I rejected uh, her. Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, yeah. he didn't. He said it, not me. Talking I about my ex, uh, mm -hmm. uh, right now I'm single. Mm -hmm. uh, are you ladies single? No. Oh, he's trying to shoot his shot. Yeah. Both yeah. of you, both of you. The weekend is coming. Both of you can work. Mm -hmm. Okay, second question. I'm too grown to play with dolls, but... Oh, oh come on! <laughs> I have everything! <laughs> what scares you, John T? Uh, What scares me? Mm -hmm. What scares me? What scares me? Mm -hmm. Dating. Oh. Sorry, what? I don't date. Hey, hey. Dating, I think. So now you're going to be a stinky date, as you're here busy asking us. No, I am a doll. If you wash me... Uh -huh. I'm going to take years to dry. <laughs> That's the reason. <laughs> Our director is asking, why do we need Parker? Low key, <laughs> he might be from Mombasa. But thank you so much for coming through. Where yeah. can we find you on social media? Uh, let me see. Oh, okay, go ahead. Uh, you can find us on social media as Nelson Gichen. YouTube, TikTok, in our house. Mm -hmm. Yes, ev everywhere. Twitter, I love that. everything. Nice. Yeah. And nice. Yuma, thank you so much for coming through. Thank you so much for having me. Where you can, can find me find on you? Instagram at Ayuma underscore Kaguli and on TikTok as well. <laughs> and she makes the funnest reels and TikToks as well. You can find me here next week, same time, same place. Because if you don't show up, where else will you know to find me? But you can find me on my socials. That is at Laura Ambatha, Ambatha Laura, the variation works. And just a warning to everyone who keeps calling me Lingala Princess. She has retired. Mm -hmm. This is not a Jonte episode. Relax. She's retired. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in, and we hope to see you next week. Have a lovely weekend ahead.